Hey, what's up guys? Uh, thanks for tuning in to a brand new video. Uh, so today we're gonna be getting the supercharger installed. I'm not gonna have the car for a week. So we're just driving to my farm right now to go ahead and pick it up. Um, well, the farm where I work is not actually mine. But we're just arriving there right now. So we're gonna go ahead and see if everything will fit into the Mustang. I have my friend with me right now as well. So we're gonna go up and I'm gonna get him to inspect everything to see if everything's there. I don't know if all of the components for the supercharger are actually in the boxes. I literally just opened it up to check like the actual like head unit itself. Uh, so we're gonna find out now what's actually in there and what's going on. So hopefully like I did get everything and I didn't get like scummed over or something like I did the steering wheel a long time ago. All right, we're just pulling up now. So we'll see what's going on. Yeah, I didn't realize how big this was. Like it's actually huge. Yeah. Like it's really big. Oh, great. I don't know if that's normal size or... I mean, that's, yeah. I don't know, it looks big to me. <laughs> I think it's a manufactured. <laughs> I don't think they'd make it too big, but to fit your car, it might be too big. Yeah. Like, all this stuff, too. I don't even know if everything's in here. Oh, he's, oh, he's zip-tied something, so that's nice. So, like, if everything's there, I just throw it in. Uh, didn't you already check everything? No, I never even opened I never even went through that. Oh, why not? I didn't I even know what anything is anyways. That's really heavy. Well, not for you, but... I mean, I'm sure it's still heavy. You want me to grab an end? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Put your phone away. This is the box that came Jesus. Are you trying to video this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you get the thick one. Drop the supercharger. Put oh. your phone away. <laughs> oh, Jesus. For the content. 2021. Oh, shit, my shoes. I hope it gets stuck in the mud. All right, there we go. That's a good fit. It's only those two boxes. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, everything came in this. Yeah, some of this stuff still looks like brand new, like this one. Well, it should be brand new, shouldn't it? No, I bought it used. If it was brand new, it was like 11 grand. I was like, no thanks. So, it was, how much was it? Like 5,400 or something? Oh yeah. Yeah, then like import charges and tax is like 6,200. All right, well everything fits. So I guess then we go to Bram Bramford and go to Motorsports. I just cleaned my car mats. It'll blow your engine. <laughs> Don't say that. That's rude. Yeah, I guess I trust them the most when they do the work. Fuck you. <laughs> I missed my car, though. I could have done it for you in a day. Well, I guess I'll come back to, what, 760 horsepower? You're going to make, like, 630. Why do you keep saying 760? To the crank, to the crank. <laughs> that doesn't count. Do you measure your dick from your balls? <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? I don't know if this is going to be a continuation from, like, my Kurt video or this is going to be a brand new video. I don't know how it's going to turn out, um, but we just went to Tim Hortons. I just got two $20 gift cards, so $40 there. I'm going to be giving to the FedEx employees. Um, long story short, I'll try and tell you real quick right now uh, before we're actually there. Um, so uh, the supercharger I bought used, as I should have stated in the earlier videos, so I bought it used. And um, in 700 meters, turn left onto it. East turns Chester out that East. so it turns out that the intercooler was actually broken. They pressure tested it, it's leaking in three spots, and it's actually missing brackets. And it was missing some like basically necessities like nuts and bolts. And the guy said he wouldn't give me my money back, he's not responding to any of my messages. And I don't even know if the actual unit works, so I don't know what's going on. Um, 
kind of stressing out a little bit right now because I paid so much money for it, but he hasn't responded. He hasn't responded to my messages now in a couple of days. I'll post the messages on screen right now. Um, but yeah, we're basically getting screwed around really bad. Uh, it cost me $1,200 for the cooler. So I'm gonna go get the cooler right now from FedEx. It was sealed in a container or something supposedly. So I'm picking the cooler up from FedEx right now. And then I have to drive about an hour and a half to the shop where my supercharger is getting installed and give it to them. And then the car should be ready to pick up tomorrow. Uh, but now the other complication that is I'm going to be paying cash. So I save money on tax. The problem with that is, is I deposited like $4,500 into my bank and I only have a $1,000 withdrawal limit. So I'm going to try and get money. I have to try and somehow figure out how to get $4,500 cash. So I don't have to pay tax and I save 13%. So we'll see what happens. Uh, but we're going to the FedEx now, pick the cooler up and then we'll head to the shop. There we go. We have the intercooler in the back. It's really windy out right now and raining a lot, so I'm gonna kind of keep this short. But we're driving an hour and a half from the FedEx to go drop the intercooler off, talk to them, see how much the price is gonna be. I'm actually really excited to see my car because I haven't seen it in three weeks. And I just took it out of storage two weeks prior to that. It was in storage for five months. So I'm really pumped. But they really appreciate the gift cards and I'm really happy that they were. I love giving back to people when they are helping you out and doing like that extra step for you. But we'll see you when we're actually at the shop and we'll see what happens. We just arrived there's my car i've missed it so much like so so much it feels right. so weird to even see it but i'm sitting outside let's go ahead and drop this cooler off and uh, see what they have to say there she is well intercooler is dropped off uh the car might be done next week and next week for sure hopefully tomorrow we'll see what happens but bye bye Maybe see you tomorrow, maybe in the next week.